back everybody. So today we're gonna have the next tasting of my Eldorado with Marisada malt. Uh, this is a small batch, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Two pounds, eight ounces of Marisada for the boil. One hour boil, 0.39 at 30 minutes, 0.29 at five minutes. US05 yeast was used, then 0.32 ounces three days into fermentation for the dry hopped. This was bottled on 114, 6.93% ABV. Let's go ahead and get it open. Um, most of the time what I'll do is I'll pick the beers. Um, I've actually, I have some lined up uh, along uh, this table or whatever you want to call this thing, then against the wall over there, then in my office all along the wall. And usually I'll just pick them and put them in there because they're all next to each other. But I think I'm missing one out of the Eldorado. And when I put them up on the table, this one looked a lot different. And I didn't see it, and I thought it was a New England at first until I read the label. So that's why you have to label everything. Good hiss. I really didn't see any smoke come out of there. There we go. Save the bottom. I do um, transfer from the fermenter directly into the bottles. I'm looking over because I just did a review on a Citra Galaxy one, and I thought that really looked like Marisada, but they they do have a different color. Um, off white. Uh, colored head it's almost translucent coming through kind of orangish uh, small medium bubbles not even a quarter finger of head on there um yeah burnt orange in color a little darker burnt orange than the last one I just did uh, I have some chill haze but I can make out the light box and I can kind of see the bell sticker in there I do have some floaties in there um, carbonation level looks low let's go ahead and smell A little toasted malt, but if anything, it, it's almost like there's a, a citrus, like a low citrus in there, like on the sweeter side. Maybe a little citrus fruit mixed together, but it's very low. That Marisada malt really sticks out. Now, again, this is seven months old, so I could see that <clears throat> happening. Um, but yeah, for for the smell, at least very, very low, more malt forward than anything. Let's go ahead and taste. Yeah, I would say there's a, a little sweet citrus fruitiness in there. Um, the malt really plays well, I believe, with that. There's a little toasted bread maltiness in there. A little bitterness goes into the aftertaste. You get some more of that sweet fruit-ish, sweet fruit-ish citrus uh, in there. But if anything, I would say the citrus sticks out more than anything. But there's something, there's something in like the middle of the palate. You get a little of that sweet marisada, sweet toasted bread, bread crust kind of, but sweet. Um, and then that fruit citrus, but then there's like something, maybe like an older fruit, like a darker fruit, which is very weird. Very drinkable. Body is kind of on the lighter side. I would say in between medium and uh, light. And to me, for whatever reason, it's like the that, that taste doesn't match the body. It needs to be a little thicker. And I don't, I don't know why, because it's just fine how it is. Carbonation is a little low. 
but yeah, there, there, there's a lot of sweetness mixed with that citrus in here. And I don't think I got that in the last reviews. I do not look at any of the reviews before I do the whatever, the next one. Um, yeah, it, it just seems like in the middle, there there's something going on. Older fruit, I, I wouldn't call it like a grapefruit or a citrus, like a grapefruit, a lemon, a lime, any nothing like that. I think it's more, I almost want to say plum like a sweet plum like the inside of a plum not the skin yeah i don't know what it is but yeah i wish the carbonation was up just a little bit uh this one did use four small pearl tabs so that's pretty much what i use in all of them but yeah we'll check out the other ones i do have other el dorado uh beers and we'll see if that plum or whatever that that feature or taste is in there is in the rest so if you enjoyed this video check some more out over here and until next time happy brewing